Now to a GMA exclusive, we first met Thelma and Louise 25 years ago when Susan Sarandon and Gina Davis took the big screen. Well, Robin had a chance to sit down with the two stars, so let's go back to her now. Bonjour, no, Robin. Oh, bonjour, no, Amy. Yes, I had a chance to sit down with them both, Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon. They took the road trip of a lifetime, and so many of us were just thrilled to go along for the ride, especially in that car. Does this bring you down memory lane? Oh, you spare no that. expense. Thank you, Gina. Gina. We'll yeah. do it all. We'll do. You know, Diane Sawyer and I, we called ourselves Thelma and Louise. I heard Who was who? Uh, I, she gets top billing. So okay. she, she, she was Thelma. Thelma. Yeah, top billing there. But can you believe 25 years no, later? What, no. what no. is it about that film that still resonates with folks, Susan? I don't know. Maybe don't, you know, you are what you settle for. And I think it's a very romantic, right? I mean, it's yeah. kind of a romanticized yeah. road trip movie. Well, but then right. because it was us, it ended up being something more significant. The ending really um, caused quite a reaction when you guys were in here. So for those people who don't remember, here's a reminder. <laughs> Think about the ending, about going over the cliff. Well, ending I that mean, way. for me, I, that's the first thing I said is after you test this, are you going to change it? And they're both going to be at Club Med or something. What's going to happen? And yeah. and he said, I know you will definitely die. I'm not sure about her. He said, and then by the I end we had kind of, <laughs> and by the end we had kind of earned the right for both of us to go over. He said, you might push her out at the last minute, but. Uh, Actually, Ooh. it ended up. We only had like one take, too. It, yes. They shot the helicopters all day long, and Harvey, and then as the sun was coming down, we had like one take. Let's, let's, let's equal time here. Let's talk a little bit about the guys in the film. Brad Pitt. That was the first time many of us were like, oh? <laughs> who, 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 who is this? Who yeah. is this? And uh, was it true that uh, George Clooney didn't even realize that he oh, read God. for the part? You know, uh, this is. Did I tell you this? That. Uh, uh, I was on a plane next to George Clooney by happenstance, and, and we're chatting, and he says, you know, I hate that Brad Pitt. I said, no, you don't. He's your friend. He said, no, I hate him because he got the part in Thumb and Louise. And I said, oh, were you interested in that part? He's like, well, couldn't you tell when I read with you? And <laughs> I know. I know. Girl. I know. <laughs> Whoa. But uh, I'm telling when you know I read I remembered when I didn't read with him. <laughs> that's, that's what you do. That's what you remember. I would know that. Yeah. Oh. oh my god, what did you say? I said oh, I'll god, do a movie with you now. No, I, I, would have been a good I didn't response. admit it, but now I'm admitting it. Hello. Yeah. Everybody thought, okay, this is gonna change the landscape for women in Hollywood. Right. Didn't happen, and right. I know, Gina, you've been doing a lot of work with that with your institute and in, in studying that. Every few years there's a movie that comes out that does well, and people say, Well, now everything's changed. Now it's all changed, just like Thumb and Louise. And and it really hasn't. There's been no movement in the needle since nineteen forty six. And because uh, you all are all involved in other projects, saw the meddler. <gasps> oh my goodness, saw it. Oh. I love the accent, first of all, the joy the accent. Uh, you nailed it. Oh, no, oh, yeah. I know, she really does. Us, but yeah. it's with, and you really live up, you take that name of the movie to heart. You meddle in everybody, not just your child's life, but everybody's yeah. life. Anyone with a mom should find this funny. I, I wanted to ask you, do you, do you, are you that in your children's life? Yeah, yeah, that's my job. Embarrass them, meddle in their lives, absolutely. <laughs> you, you own up to it. You I totally try to own try up to it. But it, I mean, it, it could be called good intentions. It's not just, it's all good things. It's not bad things. I'm telling you, Susan's film, The Meddler is a Hoot. It's in theaters right now. I could have talked with them all morning long. 25 years. Where's the time go, guys? I know. Back it's hard you. to believe. Mm -hmm. Robin, thank you so much. Yeah.